Hi, this is Brian Gilman with Scout Support. In today's video, we're going to give you an overview of how the new order pick screen works on your top shelf mobile device. For this demo, I'll be using the top shelf mobile phone interface. However, the new order pick is also available on your DataLogic or Motorola mobile barcode scanner. Please speak to your Scout Support rep to learn how to get the new order pick on your DataLogic or Motorola device. The new order pick screen will replace the previous version automatically on the mobile phone interface. If you'd like to be reverted to the old version, please speak to your Scout Support rep. To access the new order pick, navigate to Shipping and Receiving and go to Order Pick. From here, the first thing that it's asking for is the document number, which you can type or search for, or you can scan the barcode located on your pick or pack list. On this page, you'll notice a new button called Open Next Order. This will open the oldest order with a status of open in Top Shelf. This is designed to give you a paperless way to pick your orders. When I open an order, the first thing the device asks me is to go to bin A11 and scan. The device now organizes the lines on your order based on bin location. The default is alphabetically, which is why it's telling me here to go to bin A11. It's the first alphabetical bin. You can set your own picking path in the admin console if you'd like to give your pickers a custom path through the warehouse when picking orders. To set your custom pick path, navigate to the admin page in Top Shelf. From there, go to Admin, Pick Path, and from here you can assign which bins you'd like the pickers to go to first. Now let's go back to the device to complete an order pick. Again, the first thing it's going to ask me to do is walk over to bin A11 and scan. Next, it's going to prompt me to scan the product that's located in that bin. Next, it's going to ask me how many of these products I want to pick. I'm going to hit 5 and submit. Now that we've fulfilled that product, it's going to direct us over to the next bin, which is A102. Again, alphabetically, the next available bin. We're going to scan that, and we're going to scan the product in that bin and enter in the quantity to be picked. Now we get a message that says picking complete. We can open the next order if we'd like or we can hit no and go back to the main screen. There's another new feature with the order pick called not found. Let's walk through that scenario now. So let's just say that we go over to bin A1 and scan and it's telling us that there's five in this bin of the product water. But let's just say that when we get to the bin, there are none of those products in that bin. We can mark it as not found, which will flag that part to then be reviewed later. So if we finish up this order pick and scan the, the next products out, we're going to scan and we're going to uh, no, we don't want to open the new order. So if we go back to look at the not found commit, that's under the main menu of the mobile device under inventory and you'll see a new menu called not found commit. What this is going to do is send the user over to that bin to verify that there isn't actually product in that bin. So it's going to say first go to the bin that we had marked not found and it's going to ask are there any stock of part water. If we say no, the review will be completed and that product will be set to a quantity of zero in that bin. If you'd like a more detailed demonstration of this feature or if you have questions about any other top shelf feature, please visit our website at www.scoutsft.com, give us a call, or send an email to support at scoutsft.com.